So as you guys know, I've been talking about Larix Broadcaster for a while. I've got a ton of videos on that application and I think it is a really good app. But on the last stream or stream before that, I noticed that something had changed. Something was different about the application. And I got a little notification and it was just very quick. So I wasn't able to do anything at the time. I thinking, oh, what was that? Okay, maybe I'll concern myself with it later. But yeah, I got a message from someone who says that they're a product manager for Larix Broadcaster. Now I'll just read it from how they've rooted it. So I get into your videos from time to time. And I have to say they're awesome. That's nice. It's a good way to start an email like this. I recommend them to our customers who have any issues with Larix and its IRL setup. So fantastic. Great way to um, butter me up, you know, <laughs> get on my good side. It's a good way to start any kind of conversation. As you are an active user of Larix Broadcaster, I wanted to give you a heads up regarding the upcoming change so it wouldn't be an unpleasant surprise for you during your next session. You might have noticed that we have introduced an in-app subscription into Larix Broadcaster called Larix Premium and added a number of existing features that are mostly used by professional or semi-professional streamers like Hefk H265 over enhanced RTMP to be able to stream to YouTube. This week we're going to add the last feature under the subscription which will affect the most active streamers. We'll limit free streaming time. After 30 minutes Larix will add an overlay saying it's streaming with Larix and after an hour We'll just stop the stream. So I'll just read that again. We'll limit free streaming time. After 30 minutes, Larix will add an overlay saying it's streaming with Larix. And after an hour, we'll just stop the stream. We refused to monetize Larix Broadcaster for as long as we could. Our primary source of funding was SDK sales, but for the last year, this was in decline. So we have to find another source of money for our developers. So we had to turn to our users and ask them to support us. I've described this change in this blog post, so they do have a link. We hope that the support from our users community will help our mobile team to keep working on the product and improve it even further. Otherwise, we'll just have to hibernate its development and just keep it on low maintenance to make up to date with new OS releases. It seems to be a sudden change, but we would rather rip the band off quickly and move forward. If you have any questions or thoughts, please let us know. I appreciate your feedback. Thanks. I like that they're pretty upfront with it. And it's, you know, the whole rip the band off thing. And I understand it. Now, could they have done things differently? Probably. I hope that, um, that they're able to keep things going and maybe this is what works for them. Um, but yeah, it's, it's uh, my point of view, it is a good app. I've been talking about it. I've made videos about it. I'm not sponsored in any way with them. This is the first time I've been in touch with someone or they've been in touch with me because of my videos. I'm glad that they like them and they've recommended my videos to other people. But yeah, uh, I suppose not everyone's going to be able to to pay for another subscription because everything seems to be going towards that model. But if you can not afford it, I think it is a good product to make things very easy. It is a bummer, you know, you can't deny that, but you have to pay the bills somehow and that goes for everyone, including businesses. I'm basically exploring all options when it comes to IRL streaming. The Larix Broadcaster is one of those. Uh, my next video, I'll be highlighting a different app and then you know we'll, we'll just see anyway that's the big news i wanted to get out of the way for now we've got the ballot box we're continuing that build 